Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And what you're looking at is a 2012 Ninja 250, Kawasaki Ninja 250, that somebody was turning into, what do they call these things? Street fighters, when you kind of cut them, <laughs> you cut them all apart, you cut the back of them off. Um, I'm not a motorcycle guy. I mean, obviously I ride a little bit around the property, but I'm not a, I'm really not much of a motorcycle guy. But I've been after specifically a Ninja engine for a while, 250 or 300, to, for a cart project, for something cool to just kind of beat around the property on, you know, something to make the back wheels go spinning. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm up to on this. It kind of depends on the personality of the engine, right? Well, actually, in the first piece of personality, does this piece of junk run? I was shown a video of it running, and the kid who sold it to me was riding it. So it was running. He tells me it you know, holds water, everything's fine. And that he bought it as this um, street <laughs> killer version. And it was just a matter of putting it together, finishing it up and registering it, and it would be all ready to go. Um, I'd probably recommend replacing that front tire if this was going to become a road bike again. I guess he also indicated it needs a couple of cables, a clutch cable, and so forth. What I want to do is I want to get it out of here. Now I'm not sure how much this thing weighs. When he helped me load it on the truck, um, I'm not sure if, if he was a bit of a, um, if he wasn't that strong, um, because he seemed, seemed that I was doing all the work. <laughs> or the second thing is maybe he is strong and this thing is a lot heavier than it looks. To me, it doesn't look like it should go more, especially with everything taken off of it. It shouldn't go much more than 350, but 3 350. And we were rolling it up using a ramp. It wasn't like we were picking it up or anything. And and once again, it felt it felt very heavy. So I'm not sure if he he wasn't doing anything or if this is a lot heavier than it looks, given that I'm working alone today. I got to get it out of here by myself. So hopefully this video doesn't end here with me uh, wounded. So here it is in all its glory. It did take a little bit of a bite out of me. You know, I'm not quite sure why they had to uh, cut the back of that off like that. It leaves a lot of sharp edges. Um, it off the top of my head it appears complete except the carburetors are off right obviously the gauges the tail light front fender a few other things so here's here's the gauge cluster I hope it's the right one this is the headlight that came with it a couple of carburetors air filter I'm not Sure, this should be included, but it is, you know, those tiny little signal lights, tail light. It came with that, it's already got on both sides, and it already has that. Um, I assume that this is for the seat. This must be a spare fuse box. The shifter's on there. Right, you can see it right there. So here's, here's the shifter. The clutch cover, I haven't quite found the clutch yet, but that part of the engine appears to be there. So, then we have four carburetors, a four carburetor air cleaner, if 
four carburetor air box, a couple of extra cables, an extra side cover. It looks like it's for 400 KZ 400 E. So anyway, so I got this. I got the key for it. I got the title for it. Um, somebody painted it black. I see somebody scraped the sticker. I don't know. When was the last time New York had a uh, had a blue sticker? God, it's been a little while. I don't have any old cars floating around here. Um, it, it had to be between 12 and now. Anyway, so I got this whole pile, and I mean that literally pile, and it cost me 350 bucks, and I picked this up in Hurleyville, New York, and just to give you an idea of Hurleyville, I hopped on Route 52 in Fishkill, New York, took it across the bridge, um, all through Orange County, through a little bit of Ulster County and ended up right on the tip of Sullivan County. So um, that's where Hurleyville is. The, the young man that sold it to me, I'm not sure how old he was. His mom was there, and I actually did business with the mom. She took care of the paperwork and signed things and did everything that needed to be done from, from that point of view. He just, well, he just helped me load it. Um, and I think that's it. Now, if I paid 350 bucks and this motor is no good, I obviously have a pile of parts here. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. I guess this thing probably was crashed. Right. Um, oops. Anyway. So, hopefully the motor's good. If the motor's not good, I paid way too much money for this. I mean, I guess I have a title on the frame, and to some people that's worth something. That gas, that gas tank is worth something. The back tire and wheel, actually both wheels appear to be true, though the front tire is spent. The back tire looks pretty good. I, I guess from a parts point of view, it's, it's not too bad. The frames on these things is really interesting. It's, um, it's kind of got an overhead frame, and the engine hangs from it. There's no frame underneath the engine, which is, which is interesting. Should you hit anything, a curb or anything, your uh, your front, you know, you get your front wheel over it, but then your bumper would be your exhaust manifold, and next comes your engine. So. Uh, the front suspension is good, functional. Um, I can try the back. Yeah, I want to be careful about this. I, I don't want to have matching hands. Um, if, it, if the back suspension's any good, it's very stiff. Anyhow, what I'd like is um, a friend of mine up in... Up by Oneonta there. I forgot the name of the little town. Shoot, I forgot his name too. Boy, it's it's tough when the brain begins to slip. Anyway, um, he took one of these engines and he put it on one of the uh, China off-road go-kart frames and uh, hammerhead frames and made a real, did a really, really nice job, a really beautiful job. So... To some extent, I'm inspired to do that. The only bad thing is this doesn't have reverse. So, I don't know. I, I got to see what the personality of the whole thing is like. Then I'll make a decision what to do with it. Also, you know, a lot of times when I get one of these things, I'm, I'm not crazy attached to this. So, you know, if, if one of my buddies calls me up and says, God, that's exactly the engine, you know... I'm after, and, you know, I'm kind of jonesing 
for it and I know you're jonesing for something I'm building maybe we can make a deal you know so there's something like that by the way guys I am after a uh, 350x roller because um, I have a 350x motor I'd love to uh, put together a 350x um, and I'm sure what you guys are all saying in the background there so yeah so would I so anyhow there it is once again let me know what you guys think suggestions for projects and all that stuff I do have a couple of single seater hammerhead bodies floating around I have a load of golf carts floating around load of garden tractors um, I even have you know what I even have that police Cushman that could be interesting too because I got the hand clutch and motor and all that if I gear it down and put it into the transmission then I have forward and reverse and heavy enough where it could be like a little wrecker so yeah I mean just for the money for 350 I thought it was a good enough deal that I went for it um, it's something to add to the hoard um, and we'll see what becomes of it in the long run next stop for this thing is trying to turn the motor over uh, making sure I have spark um, you know probably compression tests spark you know engine turns over and from there we'll try to get it started anyhow I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing please remember to keep your feet down your heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day bye now